This is episode number three of our Backyard Chicken Keeping series. Today we're gonna discuss picking chickens, getting the right ones for you. Maybe you want some colored eggs, or maybe you need some winter hardy girls like me right now. We're also gonna talk about where to get your chickens. So let's go chicken shopping. Welcome to today's show. I'm Jen Bolden with Jen TV, where we provide fresh thinking on green living. It's now time to tune in and be turned on to a whole new way to think about picking chickens. So here's what we're gonna talk about today. Number one, our favorite breeds. You really shouldn't go counting those eggs before you pick out the right chickens for you. Number two, sex them up. That means make sure that you're gonna end up with more hens than roosters. And number three, where to get your chicks. Whether babies or full-grown hens, you're gonna wanna make sure to get them from the right source and in the right quantity. So, of the most popular breeds, here are a few of our favorites grouped by attributes. The first group is great layers. The number one reason that people get backyard chickens is to get eggs. This is a barred rock. They lay about 150 eggs per year, and they're docile, so they make good pets, and they like to free range and can just kind of peck around without ruining too much of your garden. Also in this category of exceptional layers, we have the Rhode Island Reds, Australorps, Sex Links, and Leghorns. Leghorns are as common as the day is long, and those are the ones that you'll actually see in the small crates, so set them free. So the next group of chickens is quiet and friendly. And this is really important if you've got a grumpy neighbor or if you're part of that underground chicken keeping society. This right here is a cochin. I love these. They're super docile and sweet and friendly. And all cochins have those adorable fuzzy feet. Now, cochins only lay about two to three eggs a week, so keep that in mind if you're out for eggs. Another bird in this category is called an Orpington. They're very popular. This is actually a rare breed of an Orpington called Lavender. And they're very sweet and docile and usually quiet. Also, there's a buff Orpington, which is more popular. They're kind of the color of a mimosa. In fact, I used to have a buff Orpington and I named her mimosa. Pretty clever, huh? Another bird in this category is the almighty, or actually not so mighty, Silky. Here we have one that's about 14 weeks old, and they're a favorite with children, as you can see why, little puff balls. I will tell you that my Silkies were not the brightest. Maybe they just couldn't see with all those feathers in their eyes, I don't know. <laughs> Our third group is for fun colored eggs. Now this girl is called an Easter Egger, and very appropriately named because they have the most fun colored eggs, blue or green. Pretty cool. Also, these Easter Eggers do great all year round. They're very hardy, whether it be cold or warm weather. However, they can be noisy. We also have Welsomers in this category, and they are an easy, friendly breed, and they have large, dark brown eggs. They love to free range and forage, but they can go okay in captivity. Now, Welsomer is actually what we have, Stinky. She's the one that's on my head in the website. She's very interactive, just follows you around, and just so cute, and the way she looks at you when she wants Wait to Wait a see. minute, Jim Bolden. How about Cuckoo? Cuckoo, the Cuckoo Moran. We love Cuckoo, especially Maximo. Uh, she was my girl. So the only thing about the Cuckoo Morans is that they aren't as hardy. We did lose Cuckoo, and it was sad, but she is forever memorialized in the Gen B TV logo. Now, if you want to get really precise on picking your chickens, mypetchicken.com has this great tool where basically there's these drop downs of what's important to you, be it the eggs, the hardiness, the disposition, and then it generates a list of your best chickens. And the kind folks at Dare to Dream Farms, where we are today, have put together a really cool web page that lets you just get a good snapshot of all the chickens and what they're known for. The second thing to remember when picking your chickens is getting the right sex. No, I do not mean that kind. I mean getting a rooster or a hen. You can actually pay just a little bit more when they're babies, and they'll be sexed for you, so you'll pay more for the hens, which is definitely a wise investment. Having a rooster around when you don't have that 100-acre farm is best to be avoided. And the run and the coop, and I don't like how that sounded. Ow! about ready to get your chicks. The last thing to think about is how much space of your backyard you can devote to the coop and the run 
and some free ranging. You'll also have to decide how many you're gonna get. If you're getting baby chicks, keep in mind that about 20 to 30% of them don't make it. However, we're gonna have a segment coming up about how to take care of your baby chicks, but still plan for a few losses. So listen up, there are tons of online resources for you to find your baby chicks. However, I love local farms. So this one, Dare to Dream, even delivers everywhere from San Diego to San Francisco. Also, we've posted links on our website to some of the best online stores that ship one-day-old chicks. Now, the reason they can do that is because they have enough nutrients coming from the yolk of the egg. They do sell out quickly, so if you're gonna use one of these online sites, place your orders in advance. You can also sometimes get baby chicks from your local feed store. You can call them and say, when is it chick time? Usually in the spring. Lastly and most importantly, always check with your SBCA. Sometimes they actually do acquire poultry that needs a home. Adopting's the best. Adding chickens to your backyard is a semi-big decision, but we're here to make sure that you get the right chickens for you. Remember, you're gonna get healthier eggs, you're gonna be happier having the right breeds, and these chickens are gonna be happier than the ones at those horrible factory farms. Boo on factory farms. And remember, consumer choice is driving change. And also stop by genbtv.com and tell us your favorite breed of chicken and why. Thanks for caring, thanks for sharing, and we'll see you next time. Uh, yeah. These dark brown ones. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Okay, mm. <laughs> that's enough. Wait a minute, Jim Bolden. <laughs> Can't keep I'm him away. You. <laughs> now, if you want to get really precise on how to... Ready?
There are so many chicken breeds out there, it's hard to choose which ones you're gonna get for your backyard coop. Today, I'm gonna show you three of my favorites that I'm sure you'll have success with. Let's go. I'm Becky. I used to live in the consumer rat race just like you. But one day, I had enough, so I sold it all, moved to the country, and built my own log cabin with my own two hands. Now, I spend my time discovering new ways to live a simple, healthy lifestyle with more free time and way less stress, then sharing what I've learned with you. Welcome to Becky's Homestead. Sure, if you've done research on the internet, you have found out there's a million different chicken breeds to choose from. It makes it kind of hard. So I'm going to show you three breeds that I have that I absolutely love. And I'm sure you'll love them too. This is my absolute favorite breed of chicken. It's a black Astralorp. They are so people friendly and so gentle. Even I can catch them and that is a miracle because I never can catch chickens. And these chickens just kind of duck down and let me catch them, which I just love that about them. As you can see, she's a nice black color. And when the sun shines on her right here where I'm patting her on the back, it's like a shiny green color and it looks really pretty. They have black legs and they have white toenails down here on their little feet. This breed gets along with all the other hens in my coop. They're just no trouble at all. This is my favorite. This gets a 10 out of 10 in my book. So if you want a really nice breed of chicken for your family in your backyard coop, I would highly, highly recommend the Black Astralorp. This golden beauty is a buff Orpington. This is another one of my favorites. They're very pretty to look at. It's a poofy gold chicken. They're fantastic egg layers. They get along in the coop nicely with the other hens. These are cold hardy as well. She's not very happy being on display. <laughs> They also come in other colors. There's white Orpingtons, there's black Orpingtons, and there's also blue Orpingtons. And this is the buff Orpington, which is gold. It's a very nice chicken. It has like white legs and white toenails, and it lays brown eggs. She's a little chatty, but she's a very nice chicken. I highly recommend this breed for your backyard coop. This is a Bard Rock, number three. Another cold hardy, people friendly, great laying hen. One thing I wanna mention about the Bard Rock though, that's very important. If you have just a small backyard coop, you have to have all Bard Rocks because they're a little bossy and can be kind of mean if there's other breeds in the coop with them. So if you're just gonna have three or four chickens, just have all barred rocks. Or you can do what we do, and we have a great big coop, and we have two barred rocks mixed in there with our other breeds, and they all get along just fine. The barred rock is a very nice backyard chicken. This is Mario, the biggest chicken of them all. <laughs> he is so timid, and he looks like the wimpiest dog on the planet. But Mario protects the coop all night long and nothing gets our chickens. You wouldn't think this little dog could do the job to chase away a fox, a raccoon, a possum, but it just goes to show that even a small dog has the protective instincts. There you have it, three of my favorite chicken breeds. I think if you choose those for your backyard coop, you won't be disappointed. Sign up for Becky's Homestead newsletter. Go to beckyshomestead.com and sign up on the right. You'll get articles, news, and specials from Becky every month. Unsubscribe anytime, no spam. If you like this video, please click the like button. It really does help us a lot. 
And if you want to be notified every time we post a new video, click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions, please email me and Doodles. Happy homesteading. Bye bye. <laughs>